the last episode, we made the portal to the overworld, and that's pretty poggers. In today's episode, we're going to try and get through some of the Steam Revolution quest line here. But in between episodes, I kind of claimed my quest rewards, and I've gotten some pretty cool things like this creative, not creative, this Signalum conversion kit which is going to be really useful actually i think because well if we want to get a lot of storage we can basically use this right so if i want to say like grab me like a strong box for example these guys are basically like i don't know like a double chest so if i place this down put this on here look at how much storage this gives us it gives us a lot of storage i don't know if i have a cardboard box access no because i need ten thousand liquid blood and a tier 5 blood altar to make a cardboard box but what about a dolly do dollies exist dollies do exist but we're gonna need a few things for that anyways i digress can i like shift i can't so i'm gonna grab a few things from my chest here and we're gonna leave everything behind right now we go back into the overworld because well we need to find a, a home and right now it's daytime so yeah finding a nice little home to call home would be nice we do gotta be careful because uh <clears throat> there is sea monsters in this pack i learned that the hard way dude yeah you can't see nothing in there mm -mm. i am good i'm just gonna con Control myself and go up this mountain here. Pro tip as well. You see these flowers that are right here? The bachelor button flowers? There should be a quest in your quest book that will tell you what each flower is and what ore they're corresponded to. Why is that witch on a spider? Hello? Ah! Leave me alone. Ouch. You absolute twat. Well, we're not going that way. Okay, so I went ahead and got myself some white wool while exploring. And now we have ourselves a nice little bed. I don't know how this is going to work. And you can't sleep either? Yeah, this makes this mod pack super rough. But yeah, we need to find some iron. I also noticed that uh, we have some scanner stuff which I gotta figure out how I give this power. No one installed modules. So if I look at scannable, can I make a modular or ores? It says only rare ores, but like I want ores and I guess rare ores works. Uh, so a scanner module with eight covalence dust shouldn't be too hard to make and it doesn't look like it requires power either which is super nice that they made it so it doesn't require power because i know that in nami factory they do and i think range upgrades require ender pearls which we can't quite yet do unfortunately but yeah we're gonna have to wait till daytime to go ahead and go explore the overworld some more for some iron oh hey oh no you stay over there okay so now that we're in the overworld and it's daytime let's use our scannable mod jewel thing here and see what we can find underneath the ground there's a whole vein like right here it is an oil sand vein what are you are you evil ah yep you're evil yep mm -hmm. Mm, yep yep running away now oh god i see why oh god they said that <clears throat> the testers were dying constantly oh god okay there's another ore vein down here let's see what this one is down here i didn't bring a pickaxe because of course i didn't is slash back a thing i hope slash back is a thing uh you i wonder if i can repair this pickaxe i wonder if this is one of those ones where the pickaxe okay you can repair the pickaxes let's find out so if i grab some cobblestone usually you can take this and put it in here and repair it but i guess not so if that's the case let me grab some of this also does crafting table on a stick exist in this pack i know that extended crafting is in the pack but i'm not really seeing a crafting table on a stick so that's kind of disappointing this ore patch is indeed fact tin so that's interesting we just found tin so my pickaxe is of course broken as usual so i guess what we'll do is make a quick and dirty i'm not gonna need to we can just make some sticks which oh wait sticks are not craftable but sticks are also grabbable from the emc 
table so that's not that bad and i guess let me make another pickaxe really fast we are looking for iron though that is our number one priority i have found the page that i'm looking for okay so we want iron veins so we want let's see diamond vein galena iron veins are going to be ghost orchard orchards which i passed some of those i believe over here just over this hill there should be some ghost orchids i passed by i think they're right over here i could have sworn i saw some ghost orchids over here aha i knew i found some ghost orchids so somewhere down here should in theory be some iron we just gotta find it that's looking promising okay so let's go ahead and take some of our brown limonite and we need to process this so i'm thinking how do i process this without power the smeltery that's totally a thing that we're probably gonna have to make uh disable this is still left in jei because hiding it is also removes the smelting tab that the porcelain melter inherits interesting so that's disabled i assume there's got to be a way to process this right i truly do believe we actually need to make this because that's probably the only way that we can actually cook up the which i'm gonna call it the iron that we need to make the ingots i'm pretty sure this is the only way we can do it which is uh it could be better right it could be a lot better but this should be easy enough so we take our bone meal with our clay like so and then we just cook up a bunch of this stuff i mean we don't need too much stuff so yeah i don't think i can do that i honestly don't even know if i can even do that either with this so i'm taking a very big gamble here and assuming that is how we're meant to do this so yeah let's make the porcelain smelter and give it a shot and boom here is your porcelain smelter we are gonna need a casting table of some kind and it does look like these look to be normal recipes what about the porcelain thingy my bobber this guy okay so yeah i need a little bit more of this so make that get that cooked up i didn't spare a porcelain ingot so i need to make one more because i didn't create of it okay let's give this a try so let me make a quick table and then that should be good oh you know what we do need though we need the tank i didn't think about that so the porcelain tank is gonna be just a glass with some of that uh seared brick okay that's relatively easy and cheap come over here grab that glass in the middle with the porcelain stuff like so and i guess we're gonna have to put some lava in this thing so you 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 and then you that's all set i just gotta get four buckets of lava now which shouldn't be hard one two three and four these are all gonna break when i put these in here that's fine and then i should be able to smell these up the question is how do i get an ingot cast i would assume we make temporary ones using sand or ingot casts yeah it doesn't look like we can you know what we can do though actually we can probably cast it into a block and then uncast it that's probably the way that we're meant to go here okay here's my plan i think if we do the block form it should allow me to make the ingot instead of needing a cast for it okay so let's take our iron block this is our very first iron block oh my god yes give it all to me and i just did i didn't mean to do that but i need to top those up anyway iron blocks can i go ahead and break these down i can break these down and just like that we now have iron which means i can technically do that now with the copper and the tin so let's go ahead and do that really quickly Alrighty, we do have the iron and no sorry we do have the copper oh copper blocks cannot what what the i just somehow duplicated those uh so it looks like copper blocks cannot be broken down 
which is not ideal okay what about tin blocks i hope tin blocks can at least be broken down into their car kind of actually well mm, they cannot also not be broken down into their counterparts okay so that means i'm gonna have to actually find gold so where is that quest line that i was looking at overworld we want gold veins so we gotta look for i believe wait is there no gold am i crazy i had a feeling that it was gonna be in the nether now i suppose going to the nether isn't as easy as just making a nether portal right i would assume not but i could be wrong just as i thought we can't just go to the nether now i do want to wait till it's daytime to go to the overworld to go and see if i can do it there maybe i can't do it here in the void world okay now that we're in the overworld i do want to see if this is going to work the way i think it does i am not a hundred percent confident that this is going to work the way i want it to which is going to suck so hard honestly so let's go ahead and do one two and three one of those one of these and then call it a day and hopefully we can go to the nether to get some gold but i don't think this is how this is gonna work nope all right how do i get my hands i guess the first thing is tinker's construct the casting mold how do we even make this gold or brass okay so brass is made using copper and zinc but how does one get copper and zinc that's the real question. I guess they want us to do is probably through the squeezer, which we can totally make that right now. So the squeezer is gonna be our thing. We're gonna need some sticks. That's fine. We can grab those. Those aren't too bad. I totally forgot about the squeezer method. And then a block of iron, which luckily for us, we created that because we were smart. And like, you know what? Yeah, we're probably gonna need a ton of this. So we went ahead and created it there we go so the squeezer is hopefully gonna be able to like squeeze this down i don't think so and then i need to reset it okay so it didn't squeeze it into the thing that i wanted it to so i'm gonna need a lever for this so cobblestone any cobblestone will do and a lever there you go reset it i didn't think that would work guard darn it okay okay so we can't do that so how the heck am i meant to get oh wait a minute i just thought of something interesting so give me a stick and then some iron that makes me the gt hammer and then the gt hammer can smash down this ore into dust at least i think it can so you to make the crushed ore i thought i could or the impot impure pile do i take this and put this in the thing over here that's also a possibility i take this and i bounce on top of this and then that's gonna make me my crushed ore yeah there's our copper dust okay and then we also need to do that with tin as well okay let's grab three stacks of copper and three stacks of the tin combine them together to get bronze dust which we're going to take one stack and then we're going to creative one stack and then i should i don't know exactly how i'm meant to process this bronze dust i think i am meant to smelt it one to one okay perfect i just need nine of these to make a block before i do that though actually does the bronze block allow you to uh what i'm gonna call it decompress it i don't think so it doesn't look like it allows you to okay that means i'm gonna need to make some brass okay wait which flower is zinc because we need to go and find zinc in the overworld and then we need to grab it for our stuff nickel veins magnetite iron galena diamond copper oil sands i think i've checked this like eight million times and i have not seen zinc yet you know what you could do actually so if we look for zinc ore it will give us the like greg tech name so zinc ingots come from sphalerite ore which i don't even think has a a thing in it yeah blue topaz or galena 
Oh, it's in Galena or veins. Okay, let's go find a aluminum vein. Okay, so I found gold. It's in this vein right here. How far down do I have to go to even see this vein? That's the question. It's over here? Oh no, that's the um other one. So yeah, we gotta go down pretty far far if i had a guess so let me keep digging let me see if i can find this so i've been quite busy exploring things and exploring the world i've gotten a few things that i think are going to be very useful to us like <clears throat> ender pearls yes we got ender pearls which is so nice because we're going to need those bad boys but make sure that we drop those in there i even got us a cauldron i got us an armor stand i robbed some houses to be fair so to get these things also that's how i got my copper hat that i'm currently wearing on my face like i got a lot of good loots when i was out and exploring looking for a specific ore vein i ended up giving up and i was like you know what we do have gold now so we can totally process the gold into gold blocks and then into the thing that we need which is the uh the casts okay now that we've got the gold what we should be able to do is take that gold remelt it back up in here and then make ourselves a blank cast ingot cast with this guy I did end up making an extra faucet. I think I left it over here. It's probably burnt as hell. Come over here, place down this bad boy, do this, and then get this ingot on here. And then this should, once it's done melting, go ahead and pour on top of this and get our ingot cast. You know what, actually? Let's not do that. And let's pour it just directly onto this to get a blank cast, then creative. And I believe we can go ahead and grab ourselves a chisel. And then once we do that, we should in theory have unlimited casts and we can make all the things that we ever want like for example pickaxes weaponry tools whatever we need with that which would be super freaking awesome okay with the blank cast all i should do is put them in here and oh boy look at all these casts and i just made 64 freaking ingot casts lovely i am gonna need oh god uh hold on yeah i'm gonna go ahead and need to cook this bad boy right up into here and then get that bad boy to pour into here and then into the strong box it goes and just like that we've got ourselves our very first ever bronze ingot baby let's go okay so this is gonna get turned into uh <clears throat> many bronze ingots like so for free mm -hmm. easy peasy lemon squeezy and i need my book of hellions so where did my book go uh that's a very good question where did my quest book go because uh it's clearly not in my inventory oh there it is found it okay so they want us to get popper ingots right so they want us to do, do the whole thing i see now well that's gonna be as simple as i believe if i just grab some malachite ore that's the wrong ore oopsie Grab some of this and then pour it in there and then do the whole thing over again. Okay, now that we've got copper and tin ingots and we also got the bronze ingots, I think our next move, I believe, is alchemical brass, right? Oh, we can't do that. Missing something here. Metallurgy. We're going to have to figure out how that works in a second here, but we're going to come down here and make our first small steam solid fuel boiler which is gonna need some bricks which i believe one of these chests back here should indeed have my bricks yep there they are man i really wish we had the crafting table on a stick but we obviously don't have that in this pack which kind of sucks and then we need those plates can i make those plates any easier no so i have to use the hammer for this which is fine uh where did those brass okay so i don't know how much i'm gonna need so i'm gonna make like eight for now and then that should be good to go there is our small solid steam boiler good to go our first steam freaking machine i guess machine is it a machine it's a boiler mm, i don't know would you call it a machine probably i don't know if you would but there you go let's go ahead and drop that in there and that's gonna unlock us quite a few things we're gonna make a first bucket of steam which means we're honestly gonna have to make a bucket bucket i feel which is gonna require us to get 
some iron plates which honestly isn't that bad right all we got to do is the same thing that we did with the copper with the iron like so and then there's our iron plate i am not entirely sure if it needs anything else but we're gonna go ahead and do that i believe it needs a hammer mallet upgrade which hopefully we won't be needing this very much wait oh no that's in the wrong spot there you go make ourselves a nice little bucket mm -hmm. yes i can't wait till we get drawers because this is so obnoxiously annoying right now and then i guess this is gonna need water isn't it produces six liters of, of steam it's gonna need water how do i i guess i feed water into it using like a water bucket of some kind which means i'm gonna need ice of course by the way you can't just hold ice in your inventory because if you do it's gonna cause you many many problems so you notice how i have slowness and stuff i discovered that the other day i was like wait what's causing me to have slowness and uh <clears throat> yeah it's just the fact that uh yeah you can't hold ice in your inventory and i need to put some sort of fuel in here which lucky for me we do have oil sands i grabbed some oil sands i'm not sure if oil sands though like directly processes into the coal i don't think it does it doesn't look like it does so i think i need to go and freaking grab more coal or grab coal from that vein because oil sand veins usually typically carry coal you know what what if i just threw in some wood i mean that does in theory work if i keep this here can i not take a bucket of steam out how the hell am i meant to get the bucket of steam uh, a steam boiler uses water slowly but if you are planning on chunk loading you eventually want an infinite water source water warning 2x the only way a boiler explodes is if you add water to a dry empty boiler never let the boiler run dry well then okay okay we are burning we're now burning the thing i need to be very careful here and not let it get empty i have enough for you know what i wonder if i can yeah no i can't pull the steam out so that's not gonna work something is telling me to make a wrench honestly from the gt mod uh the wrench is gonna just be plates that's relatively cheap to make do i have ice in my inventory i do right so we need more plates so let's grab those i think it's four plates and then nope that's fine where where it was yep make me a wrench please is it gonna i wonder if it's gonna auto like <clears throat> breathe itself i don't know if it will so i'm just gonna give myself a wrench just in case so i need to make alchemical brass but i need to make copper plates first uh, there's so many things that we have to do and i'm trying to like figure out because i am so lost in what the heck i'm supposed to be doing all right there's two of those i'm just following the quest book here and just hoping for the best the seared furnace is gonna need some seared brick and some lava i think we already have that already taken care of so two of these and then some seared brick which is gonna be back here here come over here and make the seared furnace once i grab another one of these mallets all right seared furnace and then that's gonna get us a squeezer that i <clears throat> already have so how do i get this a central theme to this pack is side by side progression of both technology and magic some magical materials reasonably in tech and vice versa to get started in the bronze age you'll need brass which would be plentiful in the nether without nether axes currently however you'll have to resort to magic to create your first pieces of brass you'll need to invest a bit of time and resources into early thongcraft to make the brass see the what is this sorcery quest line for some assistance oh i see it now okay here's the thongcraft stuff which i hate research this quest wheel is entirely optional for those that are having trouble progressing in thumbcraft you can grab essential researchers from this area without progressing the mod normally not recommended but it's here if you like uh yes please you know what i just realized we're out of time for today's episode so with that being said if you guys did enjoy today's episode please do me a huge favor smash the like button smash that subscribe button ding down that notification bell become part of the hunter tribe as always guys i'm gonna love you i'm gonna leave you till next time bye